Here's a General Electric 60 watt soft white bulb. Okay, now inside here, there's a glass base right here, and there's two wires that stick up here, and between them, there's a little filament. This is a very, very fine piece of wire. So these two wires here are embedded inside this piece of glass at the bottom. Okay, so right now, there's no current that goes through the glass. There's only current that goes through the filament here at the top. But when we get the glass hot enough, the glass itself will turn into a conductor. But for now, all the current will go from here to here. Once the filament burns out, there'll be no more current, there'll be no more light. It'll be game over until we heat up the glass. What we're going to do with this one is this. We're going to take this and we're going to turn it on. Then current's going to go through the filament, but the filament in here is inside an inert gas. Over here, it's inside air. So what will happen is it will quickly oxidize. It will burn. We'll see smoke and the filament will disappear, it will be gone, and then I'll have two wires embedded in a piece of glass that are sticking up. So there won't be any more current, but this glass down here, we think of glass as being an insulator. A glass can be a conductor if the temperature is high enough. I'm going to take this torch, I'm going to hit this glass, and when I do that, it's actually going to get very, very hot. When it gets hot enough, it will become a conductor. And so then what will happen is current will go from one side of this glass to the other, and there's two wires buried inside this glass. And the current will go from one side to the other, and as it does that, it's going to make the glass glow just like it makes the filament glow. It's going to heat it up, and so we'll be having glowing glass not from the torch, but from the electrical heating from the current that flows through here. And it demonstrates the idea that glass, at the right temperature, can be an electrical conductor. Something else that happens when the glass gets hot enough, there's metal dissolved inside here. Basically, you can dissolve things inside glass, which is awesome. And the metal will come to the surface, and so it's going to look shiny. That's the metal coming out. And here you can see we were actually melted the glass. The electricity going through it got it hot enough that the glass actually melted and began to flow. And then as it flowed, it cooled off, and that's when we lost the conduction.